My name is Michael Walsh. I'm the executive director of the Multnomah Arts Center, which is a program of parks and recreation. And it's an innovative community center that also shares space with eight other nonprofit organizations that have direct community impact in the Southwest. My name is Amy Erickson. I'm the lead artist on this project, and um, it was to create a mural that involved a lot of community members and um, served to decorate the lobby of the Arts Center. The Multnomah Arts Center is, um, is a Portland Parks and Rec location that um, has an extraordinary array of arts education and opportunities. Um, um, drawing, painting, dance, clay, um, ceramics, jewelry, um, woodworking, um, fitness. So there's this whole range of, of arts that are taught here. And um, we were fortunate to have a beautiful, beautiful old um, elementary school building where we were housed. And um, it's, it's always been a lovely space, but it had, the lobby was, had gotten quite shabby. Old um, carpet. And when you walked in, you did not at all have the sense that you were walking into an art center. It felt like you were walking into an old school building and you couldn't, there, there was no, no real information that you have just walked into one of, one of the premier arts teaching centers in the United States for community. So, um, so that's what we wanted to do was, and it wasn't just my idea, like, I, I, was lots of people who walked through that lobby were like, we should do something in here. Because there were like big blank walls everywhere and a definite need for, you know, establishing something that felt like you're, you know, in a center that cares a lot about beauty and cares a lot about community and cares a lot about education. The Art at the Heart of Community Mural, um, a big part of involving the community was getting their input um, and then later welcoming them back to help uh, execute the mural. The first way we went about um, interchanging um, ideas with the community and the artists was to go um, directly to folks and ask them what did they feel art meant to them, what did art mean to community, and left it really broad and got all sorts of ideas. We've sent these out all over the community and community centers around the city, ask people, um, what does art mean to you? What should it be? What should be in our mural? You don't have to be an artist. Share your ideas with us through writing, drawing, or photography. Attach them or write it below. So we had people that wrote essays. We had people that actually attached these postcards to full on um, cat essentially catalogs of their art, um, down to people who simply wrote a single word or drew a single picture. And from that, we got um, lots of different ideas from the community. It was great as a community builder because we were able to do it very formally. We, we offered classes that um, they'd come and paint. They'd also could do it informally where we had drop-in opportunities at um, uh, the big Multnomah Days Festival that happens here once a year. And we had probably 200 people come by and do that, and including our neighborhood member and uh, city commissioner Amanda Fritz got a few dots in. So there were 750 people from the community who came into the building and um, were trained and t and painted the mural. So the, all of those people, and some of them were just a couple months old, <laughs> and some of them were really elderly, came in and like they can they can walk through the lobby and say. You know, there's my mark, those are the dots that I made. 